this idea of teaching for identity development. You know, sort of a, a university sort of phrase, but it has a lot of power because it says that you want to reaffirm positive identities that children develop. And these identities could be, you know, cross-cutting. So although my work focuses on mathematical identity, I think it's important to consider these crucial intersections. So someone might be interested in how do I affirm my black children's sense of self as black children, which is an identity consideration. But also how do I also simultaneously affirm their sense of self, their positive sense of self as learners. So that's a dual challenge for teachers to be able to sort of keep those two things at minimum because there are other identities as well. How do I keep those in mind in my practice? So what kinds of things am I doing in my classroom? Am I challenging my students? Am I thinking about cognitive demand? Am I giving my ch children opportunities to engage in high-level mathematical thinking so that they can see and feel that they can do this? Or am I sort of pandering to the, you know, the, the, the low-hanging fruit only challenging to them to a certain extent where uh, they don't feel good about the mathematics that they're doing, and that sort of becomes internalized in terms of how they see themselves. They don't feel good about that set of experiences which was a part of their socialization. So I think teachers can challenge, their st challenge black students as opposed to um, thinking that black students are only capable of doing the, the, uh, the floor they should be taking black children to the ceiling. And you've heard me talk about the brilliance of black children. So stressing and believing in the brilliance of black children, I think, beyond the rhetoric is important. Um, your curricular decisions, the kind of, and some of that's mandated, obviously, you know, given our times now. But the kind of activities and the way that you orchestrate your, um, your curriculum, your teaching, um, how you treat individual students, um, sort of self-reflection. And we've just completed a book on teacher reflection. What do you actually believe about children from various groups? What kinds of experiences have you had? And this is all in the line of what can teachers do in terms of be reflective on, on this one hand. What kind of experiences have you had as a math learner, as a person in the world where you come to see mathematics in particular ways, uh, where you begin to form your beliefs about who can do mathematics? What kind of experiences have you had as a person relative to other kinds of persons or people? Um, what has been your own socialization, for example, around issues of race and ethnic and racial differences? So does that impact your ability to respond to the needs of, in this case, black children? <music>